Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be showing you how to download and install Equivalent Exchange 2 and Minecraft 1.15.2. Now, Equivalent Exchange isn't updated, but Project E is, and it pretty much has all of the features from Equivalent Exchange 2 updated. I mean, it's actually a complete rewrite of Equivalent Exchange 2 for modern Minecraft versions. It's got transmutation tables, collectors, condensers, flying rigs, and all the other trinkets you love are involved in Project E as they were in Equivalent Exchange 2. So, very, very awesome to see this mod updated and very, very awesome to see this mod updated to Minecraft 1.15.2. I mentioned it before and I'll mention it again. I think 1.15.2 is going to be a great version for mod packs because we're seeing thefts like Project D and Botania, things like that, updating to this version. So, nevertheless, without any further ado, let's get on into it. But first, we do have a much more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an incredible Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you're looking for a great Minecraft server that is DDoS protected on incredible hardware. Check out Apex at the first link down below. The breakdown.xyz slash Apex. You get an incredible server for you and your friends. But let's go ahead and get Extravagant Equivalent Exchange 2 or Project E installed. So the first thing we want to do is actually go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is the Project E official download page. Come over here to the right hand side and scroll down until you find this Minecraft 1.15 section. Under that, you'll see kind of like a download version. As you can see, Project E 1.15.2. Click the purple download button to the right of that. that purple kind of download icon and then it'll take us off to where after a few seconds project e will download automatically so as you can see the file downloads here in the bottom left now you will need to keep this file and it's 100 percent safe to keep it as long as it has project e in the title so we can go ahead and click the keep button here in the bottom left and project e will save now if you're on mozilla firefox it's going to pop up in the center of your screen you will need to save the file in your center of your screen for it to work now we've got project e downloaded but we're not done downloading just yet we still need to download forge forge of course is the mod loader that makes Project E equivalent exchange work in Minecraft. So you can go to the third link down below and that's going to take you here. Now this is our in-depth tutorial for Forge and if you have any issues come here and they'll probably get answered. However in this video all we need to do is click on the green download button here, the green download Forge button. That will take us off to Forge's official website where we want to confirm it says MC 1.15.2 here. If it does we are good to go. If it doesn't no worries. Click on the plus 115 section to the left hand side and then click on 1.15.2 and then you'll see MC 1.15.2 appear there. Now what we want to do is come under download latest here and click on the installer button. When you click on that, it'll take us off to add focus. We're stop. Don't click anything on this page. Don't click a single thing on this page. Not a thing. Stop. Nope. Your download is not ready. It is lying to you. Stop it. You don't click that. Your download is not ready. Your download is ready when the red skip button appears in the top right. It takes about seven seconds and in the top right you will see this red skip button. The only thing you want to click on this page is that red skip button in the top right. When you click on that, it will automatically download Forge in the bottom left. As long as it says Forge in the title, it is safe to keep. If it doesn't, just click discard and click that red skip button in the top right to get that download of Forge. Now, Mozilla Firefox, the same thing, pops up in the center of your screen. As long as it has Forge in the title, click Save. Now we can finally minimize our browser, and on my desktop, we have Project E. Forge will appear here in a second. However, if these aren't on your desktop, if Project E and Forge isn't on your desktop, where are they? They're in your Downloads folder, and to get to that, click the little Windows icon. It's in the top left for me, but it's in the bottom left of your screen. That little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. And then when you click on that, go ahead and type in Downloads, right like so. Boom, and there's Forge. See, Forge finished. And in here, in your Downloads folder, you will find Forge and Project E drag those to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, to get started, we're actually going to start with Forge. Why is that? Because Forge is required in order to install the equivalent exchange to mod. So let's go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, and here you should have Java. If you do, click on it and click OK. But what if you don't have Java? What if these don't even look like this? They're not these Java coffee cup logos. No, no, they're like zip files or book files or something other than those logos. What do you do if you don't have Java or these don't look correct? Well, I have a simple solution for you, and that solution is in the description down below. And this is our in-depth tutorial on downloading and installing Java 4 Minecraft mods, as you can see right there. This is going to walk you through everything you need to know to get the correct version of Java for those mods up and running. After you do that, you should be able to open up Forge. However, if you still can't and the Java files still look weird, we do have, of course, the jar fix. And what this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and make them work with Java once again, kind of mesh the jar files and Java together, and say, hey, jar files, here's Java. Hey, Java, here's jar files. Files and they're going to work great and it's going to be awesome. So that will make 
these Java logos appear and everything worked perfectly. So now finally we can right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java and click OK. Now it's going to go ahead and open up the mod system installer here. All you want to do is click on install client and click OK and then it'll run through, download, do everything that it needs to do to get Forge set up and running in Minecraft 1.15.2. It's going to cover it all and then finally it will say successfully install client profile forge for version 1.15.2 click ok and it will close out of that congrats you've got forge installed now we need to install project e also known as equivalent exchange 2. doing this is also relatively easy these days all you need to do is open up the minecraft launcher from the minecraft launcher you want to click this little arrow to the left of the play button you should have a forge profile if you do click on that and then click the green play button but if you don't no worries we have a solution for you and that is going to be clicking on the installations tab up here and then what you want to do is click on the plus new button here. See that plus new button? Click on that. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why well, am I name it that? Because that is our own incredible Minecraft server. We have two survival servers, a medieval survival with incredible player-based economy, grief protected survival with over 30 custom quests on medieval. And then we do have aquatic survival with a slash shop-based economy. It is also grief protected. We've got custom sky blocks with fence generators and OP enchantments. And then we do have factions, which is brand new, just released. Everything in factions has been touched. Over 100 hours of development went to our factions. 1.8 base, PvP, rating, all that encouraged. Custom enchants, mob coins, boosters, everything you could want in factions, we've got it. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Now under version here, we want to click on this version drop down box, and then you'll see release 1.15.2 forge. You might need to scroll down to find yours, but here's mine right up here at the top. Release 1.15.2 forge. Click on that, and then you're good to go, right? We can go ahead and click the create button in the bottom right. Now down here at the bottom, we have play.breakdowncraft.com up here. And what we want to do is make sure it says 1.15.2 forge under it. If it does, go ahead and scroll over and click that green play button on the right hand side. Now, finally, Forge will open up. Forge is officially installed. And once you get Forge opened up, it's literally clicking like three buttons and a drag and drop and you have Project E or Equivalent Exchange 2 installed. So it's super easy from this point. If you have made it to this point, you have the mod installed. I promise. The hard part is over, right? So once we are on the Minecraft main menu here, all we want to do is click on this mods tab. You see that mods tab there? Click on that mods tab and then in here, what you want to do is go on the open mods folder in the bottom left. So go ahead and click on that open mods folder button in the bottom left. When you click on that, it's going to open the mods folder, right? It's going to open this folder here. Then take project E from your desktop and drag and drop it into this mods folder, right? So as I said, click a few buttons and drag and drop. Now, it's not necessarily installed yet because to install it, we need to restart Minecraft, right? It's not going to appear here or anything. What we need to do is click on done and then click quick game. Then open up the Minecraft launcher. This time, though, you don't have to worry about anything. The profile you want should already be selected. Just click play. And then it's going to open up Minecraft. And what's cool is in the opening process, we can see if the mod worked. So as you can see, right here it is. Completed deep scan of Project E. That means it's working. It's there. It's recognized. You're done. It's going to open up Minecraft. And it's going to be awesome. So great stuff there. Now, you might have the issue, like if you don't download the correct file on the front end, you accidentally download the one for like 1.12, that might be an issue. If that's the case, you just need to download the correct file file and then it'll work but nevertheless let's go ahead and click on the mods tab here this time we will see project d boom working awesome looking great and then of course we are going to create a new world i want to name this world project e right so project e i'm going to jump into creative just because it's easier and then obviously we're going to allow cheats all right create the world i'll do a quick jump cut until this world is done created and then we'll be good to go all right here we are in game Get this to load it up a little bit. Hold on. There we go. Now we hit E here and then click over. We will see Project E installed. Also, let's spawn in some bees, right? We'll just prove it's 1.15 real quick. Boom. And boom. There we go. We got some bees and it's like set up. But what you all are here for is Project E. And it's all here. I mean, everything you want. You've got all these alchemy bags. We've got the energy collectors. Let's see. We've got the, you know, different suits of armor, right? This is actually some pretty cool red matter, gem helmets, all of that stuff. Body stones, transmutation tablets, right? That's what we were talking about there. Boom, achievement unlocked. So that is all nice and working. Rare talisman. We've got the antimatter relay. We've got the alchemy chest. I mean, it is all here, all set up and all awesome. Look at all these achievements and advancements we're making, skipping right ahead. So there's the transmutation table, ready to go, ready to set up, ready to work. I honestly don't know how it works. It's been, I used to, I've played with IC2 in the past, but. It is a lot, so there we go. Massive chest there, wow. 
So yeah, that is all set up. You now have equivalent, sorry, equivalent exchange set up there. So there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. We are more than happy to help you out. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com. We've got two incredible survival servers, custom skyblock, custom factions. All of it is incredible. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP, and I cannot wait to see you online. Anyway, again, my name is Nick. Give the video a thumbs up, and I'm out. Peace.